Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So upon viewer request, I decided to make a video, kind of updated detailed version with a lot of math, talking about gold farming and gem farming, basically. Um, the gold farming part is basically converting your energy into astrogems, and then the gem farming part is converting your gold into astrogems through sliming. So in the background, I actually had a full run, a whole entire run of me doing golems B8, um, 33 times and then doing one whole rotation or whole round of um, you know basically farming 100 astro gems converting 330,000 gold into 100 astro gems so I have, I have here some math with me um, just so if you guys don't know like if you guys aren't good at doing the calculations I basically already did all the calculations um, so if you take a look at the first scene of the video um, I'm, I'm going to post the stats out. You can actually look through the whole entire video and see the whole entire process. Um, basically me going through everything, the, how my gold count went up, how my energy count went down, and then how I basically converted the energy into gold and the gold into astrogens, and then the total amount of profit that I got at the very, very end. So to begin, I have 160 energy. Uh, this energy was just actually just some random energy that I had from my box. I picked it up, put it, you know, like basically refilled, filled it in. And with 200, with 160 energy, I was able to do more than 20 runs, I think. Actually, that, that doesn't really matter. But all you guys really need to know is I didn't use up my astrogems in this whole entire process of farming, farming um, for gold. So I will need to do a little bit of conversion to convert, you know, how much energy I used and how much that's going to cost me in terms of astrogems. So I started at 160 energy. I had uh, 1,317,953 gold and 638 astrogems. So that's the amount I started with. Now I went, I went through basically 33 runs of golems b8 the reason why i chose to do 33 was because according to a post on reddit um of a guy that basically you know he he jotted down all his runs for golems b8 7 to 7 to 10 basically and he did 100 runs of each and he got around an average of 10k gold per run so he basically each run of golems should get you 10k gold and i need 330,000 gold in order to convert um convert that gold into 100 astrogems. So 330,000 equals 100 astrogems. So in order to get the 330,000, I had to do 33 runs because 33 times 10, 10,000 equals 333,000. So after doing 33 runs, um, I 33 runs basically is the equivalent of 231 energy because 33 times 7 equals 231. 231 energy um, equals to 2.88 seven five refills because 231 divided by 80 and 80 is the amount of um, energy that you get per refill so it equals to 2.8875 refill and 2.875 refills equals to 86.625 astrogens because 2.8875 times 30 equals 86 point um, 625 and times 30 because 30 is the amount of astrogens it costs you to do per refill so uh, the cost of doing 33 runs is the equivalent of 86.625 astrogens now uh, I basically I had to m subtract that from the total amount of astrogens I got at the very very end in order to make this fair because you you know if you if you're doing all these golem runs you need to be able to um, you know it, you ha it has to cost something because your energy doesn't just come from nowhere it costs energy to actually do these golem runs so uh, the cost of doing the 33 um, runs basically uh, equals to 86.625 now at the very very end um, after I converted energy after I finished doing all the sliming I had a total of 38 energy um, 1000 1,500, um, wait, yeah, 1,000, oh, 1,506,216 gold, and obviously, you know, 738 because I had exactly 100 more astrogens at the very, very end. 
Now, if I subtract the 700, if I subtract 86.625, I'm just going to say it's 87. If I subtract that um, out of the, you know, 700, um, 738, and then I subtract the original 638 astrogems, I only make a profit of 30, 13 astrogems after doing the conversion. So you're actually, basically this proves that you're able to get uh, get a positive amount or you're, you're able to always um, make a profit every single time you do this conversion. And I did mention before it's about a 10% profit, but I think this is slightly more because it actually is 30, 13 astrogens. I did get a little bit of amount of gold, but you, you guys will have to keep in mind that the gold that you get kind of fluctuates. Um, it doesn't, you don't always get that same amount of gold. I actually did get a little bit more gold. You can actually see the whole entire process. I have it behind me. It's just sped up really, really fast in order to not make this video too long. I kind of just, um, but you can watch the whole entire process of me um, doing the 33 runs, selling the, the gems I got, and then you can look on top and see the amount of gold that um, is going down, up and down through every single part of, of this process. So yeah, that, that is um, pretty much it. So that's actually the, the basics of how to, well not how to, but it's proof or evidence that you're able to farm and get astrogens. Now if you don't know how to actually do this, like how to convert your gold into astrogens, um, I actually do have a guide on that as well, on how to actually go through the process of sliming and um, but this basically just just says that if you're able to farm goblins b8 and then b7 to b9 has about the same um, same in terms of gold gain like per per run it's all about all around 10k or so according to the you know the the spreadsheet that was on that was on reddit and through personal testing which basically i did um just through this run i actually you know calculated the the amount of gold i got um, I'm actually able to make a profit. So I basically just went through the whole thing um, showing that you're able to actually make a profit doing astrogen farming or sliming as I would like to call it because you're basically evolving slimes to turn gold into astrogems. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I just wanted to do this because someone requested that I do this and I thought it was a really good idea because there, there's always been a lot of um, I don't know, a, a, lot, a lot of debate as to if you're actually able to make anything from doing this. And as of now, um, right now it's on June 2nd, 2017. The runs are still good enough. You're still able to make a profit every single time that you're doing this conversion. So whenever there's an event up, if you do this a lot, um, every single day, you're actually able to make quite a lot of, lot of astrogems. So anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.